What's up, YouTube? It's your girl. I'm just Lynetta Williams, and I'm back with another video. Back, back with another, back, back with another, back, back with another video. <sighs> okay, y'all, this video right here, um, today, um, as you see by the title, is about things you need or ways that uh, you can get the weight loss surgery and the way that the insurance can pay for it for you. So I got some stuff written down because I'm taking this serious, y'all. Um, this weight loss journey is something. I take all of my content serious, but this weight loss surgery is something that's like, since I'm going to be going through it, I'm trying to learn as much information and as much as I can about it. And I want to share it with you all. The camera is at a weird angle, y'all, because I am currently in the bed. <laughs> like, literally in the bed. The phone, I'm holding the phone up with my foot, with my leg. That's how bad I want to get this content out. Um, I'm not, I, you know, obviously I, I'm up, but I've been up for a while now. It's, it's not like I just woke up and just turned on the camera. I did wash my face, brush my teeth. Um, and just got back in the bed, you know, um, my kids are out of school today. Tierra has a doctor appointment. Zion got bus left this morning and y'all know this battery do what it want to do. So the kids are out of school today. So if y'all hear some hollering in the background, that's them. But like I said, I don't want to ramble too much because I want to get as much as I can out about this BSG surgery. Um, and also like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all can see nothing but my head. Like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all may slide down, but the only thing y'all need to really get a, you know, hear is the information. I wish I could see this better. I think I'm going to go in the kitchen. Hold on. Because I got on my night, not, not on night clothes, but I got on a, um, a little dress. So I'm going to get up and go in here. So I can really let y'all um, understand it. T, cut that down a little bit for me, baby. Because I'm going to come up here and do my video. My um, weight loss surgery video. <laughs> So y'all hear her watching ticket in the classroom in the back. <laughs> but we finna get this video rolling. So y'all just bear with me. Because I can sit up and do do it better at the table anyway. Um okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be looking down because I do got some stuff written down that can help people. Who may want to get this surgery? I thought somebody was knocking on the door. Um, I went, I had my doctor's appointment yesterday with my oncologist. So for the ones that may just be watching me for the first time, I am a three and three and a half year and counting breast cancer survivor. And I went to my checkup yesterday. I only have to go like every six months now. And um I went yesterday and She's actually a new one, a new oncologist. I've had so many because they either retire or they move. One actually retired and came back and then he left again. So she is a new one, but I really like, I'm not going to say her out of all of them. I've enjoyed all of them because they are very, very knowledgeable um, people. Um, but she is very detailed in what she explains to you. And I like that. So um, I did mention to her about the weight loss surgery that I was thinking about having, and she said it would be very beneficial to me to have the surgery, um, for many of different reasons, and I'll get into it when I tell you some of the things that insurance pays for it for. So, um, yeah, she said it would be very beneficial to me. Um, she did mention that it's more mental than physical, which I've already, I've 
from watching the videos. I have seen that. She said her brother did it. He had the surgery and he's been struggling with like not eating what he wants because once you have the surgery, I mean, you can eat what you want, but it's, it's not going to do anything but just hurt you more than help you. Um, and you could even have to have additional surgeries to correct what they've done. So if you're not mentally into losing the weight and changing your eating habits, then you probably shouldn't do it. But that's beside the point. So what this, like y'all, like I said, y'all probably see the video title. And this is things that you need or ways that you can get your insurance to pay for your surgery. Um, when I say surgery, I'm talking about um, the bariatric sleeve surgery or the, um, the, oh God, I can't even think of the name of it. My mind is all over the place, y'all. Because I got really so much going on health-wise. It's like one thing after another, but there's not major stuff. Like I told y'all about my teeth and, you know, I hadn't had insurance in so long that they got to pull a couple of teeth. And got to get my gums and stuff. Huh? They got to pull one of my real teeth. And then, you know, they're going to do the two wisdom. Get them out of there because they bad. So, I got to get three teeth pulled. I'm just on an all over health journey to get myself back to health. And it's not even about... Of course, I'm going to look good and feel good. But it's not even about that. It's about getting back to the healthy state that I know I should be in and being able to live a longer, healthier life for my kids. Um, so, like I said, I didn't ramble long. I'm really not rambling. I'm just, you know, talking to y'all. But I want to get straight into the video or at least get to the point. But like I said, the surgery that I'm having is the best. I can't even think of the word, y'all ventricular sleeve gastrectomy it's called vsg is what they abbreviated as um it's multiple surgeries that you can get for weight loss you can do the gastric bypass they got the lap band they don't really utilize the lap band or it's another one that i can't really um think of the name of it but it's about four or five different weight loss surgeries that you can get, but they've kind of done away with most of them, except for the two that I'm mentioning, and that's the VSG and the gastric bypass. Um, and they basically do the same. The benefits are the same um, as far as you losing weight. The only difference in the sleeve is that they take out like 80% of your stomach and that way you can't eat as much as you usually do and you're full faster versus with the gastric bypass they just kind of rearrange some things around so that it doesn't go directly to now don't quote me on this some area like they just basically rearrange your intestines and stuff like that around so that it'll help you lose weight faster i really haven't been um, watching any videos on the gastric bypass, um, only the VSG. So I don't really know much about it. So, and I really don't know all the details of the VSG. So in any way, shape or form is, are these things to be set in stone, but I have done enough research to see that everybody is basically saying the same thing. So I wanted to give y'all some good information, but with the VSG sur surgery, in order to have your insurance approve it, you have to have, um, it says, and like I said, when I'm looking down, I'm looking at my little notes because I want it to be on point with y'all. In order to get your insurance to approve it, you have to have one of the two things. You have to have a BMI over 40, which is your body mass index. That has to be over 40. Or it could be 35 to 40 with two weight-related diseases. And the weight-related diseases, I'll get to them in a minute. Now, a normal BMI is 30. That's a normal BMI. 
So if your BMI is over 30, you're considered obese. Um, or you may be like on a marker, like on the mark of obesity. I think obesity is 40, like anything over 40. But anyway, um, you got to have a BMI of at least 40. For them to just pay it if it's over 40 you know they'll 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 consider paying it or if you got it between 35 to 40 and you got a weight related disease two weight related disease is what it says and that's anywhere from like arthritis um not arthritis i'm sorry that'll help with arthritis that's anywhere from like sleep apnea um asthma high blood pressure um, diabetes, any of those like breathing issues where weight, weight really restricts your breathing. You have to have at least two of those illnesses to, in order for your insurance to qualify as well as your BMI got to be over between 35 to 40. Um, of course, they recommend that diet and exercise is your first choice. So, with me, the reason I am considering this surgery because diet and exercise, I'm not as disciplined as I should because I don't see the weight coming right off. You know, I'm one of those people like I got to see stuff for it for to believe it. You know, like when you diet and exercise, you're losing it, but you're using it slowly at a slow pace versus with the sleeve or, you know, any kind of weight loss surgery. It comes off drastically fast, but in a healthy way. And you can see the results. So that makes you want to continue to eat right and exercise, if that makes sense. And that might just be for me, but that's how I am. That might not be for others. But if I see the weight coming off, then it's going to make me want to be like, hey, you know, we see some results. Versus just diet and exercising and it's coming off. You're losing five pounds a month, 10 pounds a month. That really frustrates me more than anything. So that's one of the reasons, like I said, not the main reason, but that's one of the reasons why diet exercise didn't work for me. Um, and yeah, so um, diet exercise is first. I don't know. I just went blank for a minute, y'all. <laughs> I had a blank, like a duh moment. Um, diet exercise is the first thing that they recommend portion control is not for me as well because like i don't say i don't want to say i don't have the willpower but again i don't see those results as fast as i as i hope that i'm going to see them with the the sleeve you know with the weight loss surgery so portion control isn't that 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 didn't do it for me either you know you can get a it don't matter how small of a plate or saucer that you get as long as you know you can go back in there and get more and more and more it's not gonna really affect you you know that's just me now that's just me and especially if i'm not seeing the weight like i said once again fall off you know if i can see the results drastically that's just me. Okay. Um, so like I said, diet and exercise is the main re the main way they want you to lose weight. A lot of people say portion control. Um, but, you know, that don't work for everybody. I wouldn't recommend weight loss pills. I don't like taking medicine already. So pills wouldn't really benefit me because I don't like taking medicine. That's one of the reasons also I'm trying to get this weight off of me to eliminate taking all of these high blood pressure medicine and high cholesterol medicine and um when i say blood pressure cholesterol um you know all of those things like that all of this different medicine heart medication which i don't i don't really have heart problems but some of my medication is heart related and blood pressure related because all of it just ties in together um so, yeah, but the main way to really get um, the insurance to pay for your surgery is to have either a BMI over 40 or to have 
a BMI over 35 to 40 and have two of those um, weight-related diseases that I named. Um, my oncologist also said that the bariatric, because I'm going to a bariatric um, surgeon, so he specialized in this type of stuff, like weight loss stuff. Your regular surgeons can do it, but I, you know, I, I want to go to somebody who I know do this every day, all day. And they're going to take you through a series of events, or, or not events, a series of testings to see if you are a candidate for it. Um, and I mean all the way from like psych evals from what I've been watching and what I've been told to see if you're mentally ready for it. And a lot of people that have gone through it say that it's, like I said in the, in the other previous video, it's more mental than physical. You know, the, the weight loss is gonna do what it's supposed to do, but are you gonna be able to put that big juicy cheeseburger down. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to not eat six to 10 hot wings? <laughs> Can you put that slice of pie or cake or banana pudding or red velvet cake down at Thanksgiving and Christmas? Can you do it? <laughs> But I'm laughing, y'all, but that's stuff you really got to think about. Like, is your mind strong enough to to do it? And so, I personally say that mine, mine is. I'm ready because I'm ready to get back to the old me. Um, and to live longer for my kids, to have more energy, to just have a better quality of life, you know. So... And some of the other things that it can um, help with. Okay, so the list of things that it can resolve like completely is like your diabetes, your high blood pressure, your high cholesterol, your sleep apnea, your asthma, things that I've already named. Um, it can help with joint pain, arthritis, headaches, um, depression, you know, just from being overweight. Those are some of the things that it can improve. Um, and then, like I just said, the long-term benefits is just a better quality of life to just be able to do those things. I have five grandkids, and two of them are like baby babies. And even my five-year-old, she's a very active little girl. So I want to be able to rip and run outside with them and play with them without saying, okay, y'all, hold on, we're going to go in a minute. <laughs> We're going to play in a minute, y'all, because you don't have the energy to do it. So, it's just a lot of different benefits that you can get or benefit from from having this surgery. Um, so, if you got any of those things that I've named with your BMI being over 40 or between 35 and 40 with two of those diseases, and you think this is something that you want to do, then definitely shoot for it and mention it to your doctor and just go from there. Um, are there risks? Of course, is risk with any surgery, the risk of infections, the risk of blood clots. Um, you know, any, some, I've even heard people say the risk of it really not working. So whatever that means, but, and I guess that's really up to the person to not do their part in it. So... I'm ready, y'all. My appointment is June the 14th, and I'm going to take y'all along with me as I go through this journey. Y'all going to see the transformation, and I'm just praying, you know, I'm, I'm trusting in God that this is a right decision, 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 um, and yeah, I'm just go from there, but um, if you have any experiences or anything, you know, if you've been through the surgery, or if you're in the process of going through the surgery, definitely comment down below and let me know, you know, how it went. Um, if you're farther along than I am, let me know, you know, what all you went through. And just, you know, we just got to lift each other up and because we're trying to do it for the right reasons. You know, we want to live longer to be with our kids. Is that saying that, you know, that'll stop anything from happening? Of course not. 
but we're just taking steps to to um and praying that you know these things will help us live a better quality of life um i would i didn't even know that weight could cause all of these health issues like i really didn't now if if some of these things are just in your genes like if it's genetically like in your family i've seen little skinny many any bitty people with high blood pressure issues but that's just because it's in their family it's genetics you know hereditary is what i'm trying to say so you know but i've never had high blood pressure up until i started getting the weight come on and come on and come on and the thing about it y'all is it sneaks up on you you don't see it until you 600 pounds <laughs> But for real, like, over the years, you don't see it until it's just, like, damn, <laughs> I'm that big. So, it's time to do something about it. Um, me being put in menopause, early menopause, didn't help because of the breast cancer that I had. I had to have a total hysterectomy because I was BRCA2 positive, which means the chances of the cancer coming back to any of my like ovaries, uterus, cervix was higher because I was BRCA2. That just only means that it was hereditary. Um, so, yeah, you know, you just got to do what you got to do, especially when you get on up in your 40s. It's time to just take better care of yourself um, if you want to live a longer, healthier life. And don't let food be the cause of you to die. Like, we got to get a hold of ourselves and learn how to mentally get it together. And when, you know, um, I've also noticed, or not noticed, I've also found out that there is a certain thing called head hunger. A lot of the people said that when you're hungry, your stomach will let you know it. But sometimes your your head can make you think you're hungry. That's where the over overeating comes in at. Like you think you're hungry or your head just tells you you're hungry. That's where like the depression comes. Like if we were down and out about something, the first thing we think about is eating. That's head hunger. We got to learn how to control those head hunger pains as well. And just listen to our bodies. Are you ready for it? Huh? Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but I'm ready, y'all. I think I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to the old netter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm me, but the more active girl, because I was always pretty active. Like, we younger than netter, we played outside for days, you know, for years, for not years, but when, young, when I was younger, I was always active. And, you know, I got to get back to that to that state, you know, playing kickball, playing base softball, you know, doing active stuff outside. And that's the state where I want to get back to. So this video was 23 minutes long already. Y'all know I don't like to really go over 30. Um, Cause I had said like nine or 10 minutes, but I, I mean, if you can say something in nine or ten minutes, it can be done, but I like to interact with y'all as well and make you laugh a little bit. But, yeah, y'all, just, um, and if you need any help or anything, just contact me and I can kind of, you know, coach you as much as I'm, you know, learning. Like I said, I'm, I'm still learning them in the fresh stages as well, but I can help you as much as I can. So, with that being said, y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that when I do drop these videos, you will know. Um, also, y'all, let me just say this. I'm probably going to have a different community of people because I got a lot going on on my channels. I'm doing reactions now. I'm going to start doing a little bit of skits. I'm doing my everyday vlogging. And then plus I'm doing my weight loss surgery journey. Um, I got a little breast cancer stuff in there, here and there. So my, you might see anything on my channel, you know, nothing's off limit. Um, but like I said, I want y'all to just enjoy seeing me, not just for a particular subject. 
I want y'all to just say like, there go Netta, she on. Let's click this button. So, that's that, y'all. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and I will see you guys later.